Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, or, excuse me, uh, Final Fantasy X. And this is part 9, I believe, but I'm not entirely sure. I do believe it is. So, after the whole cutscene where Waka gives us the sword and everything, we need to head back into Besaid Village and check the... Well, it should be, there should be an... I'll, wait, wait, I'm in the wrong building, what the hell am I doing, man? I will need to come back to that building, so don't worry. Well, I should have probably done what I needed to do in there while I was there, but oh well. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, right up here on the reception's desk. See you right there? No, maybe later. I want to check that thing there. Oh wait, it's over there on the floor. I see it now. <laughs> gee, Will, uh, gee willikers, man. How ridiculous. Because that took me a little while, and I'd have to cut some of that out. I don't know. That was only like a minute. But, anyway, back in here, we're going to want to go shop to talk to the shopkeeper. Now, it doesn't matter if you buy anything, but I'll go off and... I'll get a couple potions, just for the hell of it. And we're done. You know, a funny thing happened. My dog dug something up yesterday. I wonder what it was. Yeah, she'll say that now, but only after that cutscene, before you're about to leave the village. So what you're going to want to do is go up here to this tent over here, on the front right side. And the dog should be in here, and if you talk to it, he's got something in his mouth. Obtain something mangled and slobbery. Batman has learned Overdrive Energy Blast! Oh yeah. Yeah, we all knew Batman was epic, but he just got even more epic, y'all. You have no idea. He basically comes pre-equipped with his... Uh, with his default Overdrive, which is Energy Ray. Like Ray William Johnson. But we all know that Batman is more epic than Ray William Johnson. So that's why we had to give him an energy blast. So he'll be using that. What's going on? Here comes one now. Yeah. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Okay. Yeah! Awesome. No problem. No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. <laughs> I pushed A. A guardian someday. She might make a good guardian. Gee, let's not telegraph that whole twist, huh? Oh. A flyer, my kind of customer. Cool. Oh, you missed. Ha ha. Now, since Walker throws the blitz ball as his weapon, he's better against the flying enemies, which otherwise are very difficult to hit for people who use swords and melee weapons. So, yeah. If you see a flyer, bring Walker into the party and he'll take care of it for you. Otherwise, you can also cast spells on them. But, uh, yeah. So as you go along this path, you pretty much have a bunch of scripted battles here. So, yep. Ooh. That looks like trouble. Really? Ha! Watch this! Go Titus! Go Titus! Go Titus! Go Uh, okay. Told ya. Only magic can beat that thing. Well, I would have beat him eventually if I hit him like five or six times. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage. Show you what <laughs> Let's I have our black mage like you like you've never played Final Fantasy before. And then he's all like Lou, you're up. <laughs> yeah, I like Lulu, she's awesome. So I didn't like her the first time I played, but you know, you get to know her. And ice beans are weak against fire magic. You follow? Yeah. I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and You know, it's like how could he know that thunder and water are the other two elements and not know that they're opposed? Yeah, you don't have to explain. We need thunder for this. And spells get cast pretty fast in this game, so you put the command in, she's just whoosh, bam. You know, it's even faster than that, actually, what it showed just now. So yeah. You might have noticed only Titus and Lulu gained experience there. That's because only Titus and Lulu actually did something in the battle. So, and that becomes important later, is you want to make sure every character does something in the battle so they get a piece of the experience. Take your time. Take your time. The experience is not divided either, so so if an enemy's worth 30 experience and you get all the characters in on the battle, man. they'll all get 30 experience. Huh? Or if just one character is in on the battle, then one character gets 30 all experience. Right. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know if I really this is the right time to talk about this now. But I have to admit that sometimes What's going on. Well, I don't know. 
Ugh, oh, it's hard to say. Okay, so you go up here to the statue and walk is still praying. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Yeah. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. Oh. Well, and he died. Hmm. So what do we do? I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> because my Titus is an atheist. That do it. So there you go. I'm not an atheist for anyone who wonders. I'm agnostic. But anyway, we'll go ahead and save here. And we'll make a new save file here, just in case I do something stupid and I have to go back and start over. I don't want to have to do that again. That's kind of what Dario did with his saving, which is a good idea. Now the red arrow points up, so we go that way. Always watch for that red arrow so you know which way to go. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ancient ruins of Machina cities. What? Holy Jesus, that guy! That silent guy. It's Silent Bob. Uh, but he's blue. And chunky, and he's got claws. Uh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Just, just, we can work this out like men. Seriously. Well, I guess we can't. Ow! Oh, you haven't even got... So they haven't even gone through the whole transmission yet into battle. Or transition. So we get another one of these epic camera angle changing battles. Just go back and forth, beat the hell out of each other. Oh. Oh, man, that, that's gotta hurt. I'll just keep fighting. I don't care. You give me all you want. I don't care. Not again. Don't get a critical hit. Okay, we might have to use a potion here. I don't believe this. Holy crap. Who is this jackass? I thought he was on our side. Oh. Okay, what's he doing now? That's enough. Oh, man. <laughs> He's just like, oh, damn it. These guys don't know what they're doing taking this jackass along. Nah, what's with that guy? He's mad because he won zero out of sixteen games last season. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. <laughs> He's another Yuna's guardian. Ooh. <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much Aww. anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Oh, okay, Ooh. that's sweet. So he's basically something else. All right. Ability spheres. It's nice to have those. Those can be a little tricky to come by. And in the sphere grid, they unlock abilities, so... So if you get stuck on the sphere grid at an ability and you don't want to pass it, so you don't have to come back to it later, you might be waiting around for an ability sphere to actually fill it in so that you get the ability. Hey, there's my desktop! Alright. Oh, here we go! Oh, what now? Whoa! Uh, that's what she said. A flyer! That's your department, right? True, true. But, uh... Why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Okay. So, yeah, this is pretty much you switch members in your battle. Switch Titus out for Yuna. And we'll let her take care of the dirty work here. Your first real battle. Let's see some stuff. <laughs> show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. She's just like, okay, you know, she's just so, you know, so meek. Sometimes a little too meek, which is what I was getting into earlier. Like, I don't mean to say that that's a bad thing, because it's not. It's not at all. But I think they just might have overplayed her meekness a little bit at certain points in the game, that's all. So, yeah. Alright. So here's that guy, here's Batman. Fucking Batman. Alright, so we can attack, we can use sonic wings, you pretty much do whatever you want. Sonic wings will actually sometimes delay the enemy's turns, you can take several turns at once with it. Like so. Poosh, doesn't do as much damage, but it does give you an extra turn. So sonic wings and attack might be a good combination to try for. But what else you might want to do is wait around for your overdrive to kick in. The interesting thing about Aeons, and sometimes this can be true for player human characters as well, is that your overdrive doesn't just go up when you take a hit, as limit breaks do. 
but sometimes even when you hit an enemy, or if they try to hit you and miss, you notice the overdrive went up even then. And it goes up when I deal damage, too. So, and you can set the overdrive to actually, you know, do certain things, like depending on what the situation is, to, to increase at different times. Anyway, whoa, he has two heads for, who two, two heads for a second there. This is Energy Blast, y'all. Whoa, did you see that? It's hard to tell, but it was 1582 damage. That was pretty incredible. And Yuna gets all the experience, hogs it all up. Now what I could have done there is had all three characters defend before I brought her in. And even just by defending, they would get a share of the experience. Which again, doesn't mean that it would be divided among them, but they would all get eight experience along with her. So, just something worth noting. And I do believe this is the first one they leave you on your own. Another one of those. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night. Okay, buddy. yeah, and they also have Waka's got a skill here. Notice how it leaves attack and item are blocked out? It's because it's forcing you to use the skill. So you can see what the skill does, which is dark attack, which blinds an enemy so that there's like smoke coming up from their face, which means they can't see what they're doing. So we can follow up a little black magic here, fire. Bam! That's right, Yuna's just gonna defend. And uh, Waka. Go ahead and attack again. And poosh! Yeah, see, he's missing all over the place now. Lulu actually has some funny lines the first time she uses certain spells. Now, even though this looks like a flyer, for some reason, Titus has no problem hitting it. So I think it counts more as a, a large enemy, if, there, if there's a name for those, than, than a flyer. I'm just using fire because it's kind of the standard spell for this situation. As far as I know, he doesn't have an elemental weakness, but then again, sometimes you can tell just by watching if what an enemy's weak to, because some characters have an ability on their weapons called Sensor, and it'll actually show, because your abilities come on your weapons. I didn't really explain that very well. There's not much to explain, but... See, basically you get one weapon and one piece of armor, and that's all the equipment you get. So, but certain weapons have abilities like Strength plus 5 here, and it also has three empty slots, so you can add something else to it later in the game. But that's not until much later that you actually do that. So, but if one of the abilities on the weapon happens to be Sensor, then you'll be able to see the enemy's current HP, as well as their weaknesses, elemental, if any. And here's our first real battle, where it just kind of cuts loose and lets you do what you gotta do. So Titus for the ground enemy, Waka for the flyer, now we want Yuna to get a share of this too, so what I'm gonna do is switch Lulu out for Yuna, have her defend, and then the next character that comes up, just switch them back out for Lulu, and finish them off. And that's pretty much how it works. It's also a good idea to grind as much as you can early in the game. Not necessarily for hours, unless you feel like doing it for hours, then more power to you. But if you grind earlier in the game, it makes the rest of the game so much easier to keep up with the increase in experience and increase in monster power. And I'll explain why that is, it's mostly because of a thing called Overkill, which has never been in a Final Fantasy game before or since. Final Fantasy 3 might have it, or Final Fantasy 13, I mean, might have it, I don't know. But I think Overkill is like one of the most brilliant features ever in a Final Fantasy game. I love it. I wish that every game had it. But basically what Overkill means is that if you hit an enemy with a death blow for a ridiculously large amount of damage, like more than it would take to kill them, then you get overkill for it, and that means you get, like, double the experience. So, and that's why I say it's brilliant, because it's just, wow. I knew this would come someday. I knew this time would come, I mean. Uh, they're really leaving. Here, a farewell gift from all the village. 400 gil, hey, alright, I'll take it. Oh, there's so many things I want to tell her. But seeing her there smiling, I just can't say them. Aw, oh, you like her and you can't say anything. This sucks. So everyone moves ahead on the dock. So very realistically. Alright, keep going, keep going. Kimari. Anything to say? Kimari. Yeah, Kimari like, looks like a Detroit Lion. I made a reference to that earlier. And, uh, because he's kind of blue and silver, the same colors as the Detroit Lions. But last season, they had like a 0-16 record, which really sucked. Anyway, more on that later. Uh, I know I keep saying more on that later, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, but we're out of time. So, next time on Final Fantasy X, we will talk to some more people and get on the ship and go away. Yeah, we're gonna go away. See you later.